Hey guys, it's Mobzell, and today I'm going to be doing a video kind of giving some tips and uh, just trying to help people with better roleplay experiences. Uh, you may have seen me do some of these things in my videos or, or whatnot, but uh, yeah, so these are the top five tips for uh, police roleplay on consoles. Now, I believe uh, this first one works on every console, every version of the game. Now, this is going to be uh, scene containment. So, uh, so if you want to block off a road, you just park your car kind of slanted like this and turn the lights on. Then if you step away, they're never going to pass your car. The traffic will build up for as long as it wants to, but they're never going to pass your car with the lights on like that. They're just going to patiently wait. They're not going to honk their horns or anything. Or they might, but... So yeah, as you can see, traffic has built up, and they're not really going around my car. But, if you have a um, if you have like a body in the road and you just want traffic to just stay like this behind your car and just stop traffic on this road, or maybe you're de doing a DUI checkpoint, this can be useful, okay? And not many people know this, but I kind of picked this up o over a, a while of role playing, okay? So, you know, maybe you have a dead body here, you don't want people to go around or anything. You just want them to stay in the road. It's perfect for that. But, let's say you have a body there, and you do want traffic to flow through. Maybe EMS is caught up in the traffic or something. You just do the same thing, but you turn off your lights, and then they'll flow around your car. See, then traffic starts to flow through, but they'll flow around your car. So if you have a dead body here, then, I mean, here is uh, probably not the best place. If I'd really be realistic about it, I'd, uh, I'd be over here, stopping traffic until that, until those cars pass, letting him go through. Stopping this side of traffic until that car passes, then letting this car through. Yeah, so you could be realistic about it. You could definitely be realistic about it. You could easily be realistic about it. Um, but yeah, if you have your car slanted like this, they're just going to drive around it. Now, it's probably not the safest of things if you have your car fully out like this. You could just have it like this and they'd pass just, just fine. But, uh, yeah. And you don't, um, let me just showcase that. Yeah, so if you have, like, a body here, here, then, uh, you could just block it with your car and the traffic will go around. But, if you also have your car here, and you turn your lights on, if it's blocking some portion of the road, they're still gonna... They're still going to stop traffic with your lights on, okay? So lights on, blocking some portion of the road, and it'll stop traffic, lights off, and they'll go around, okay? So, that's tip one and they'll go around. Okay, yeah. So that's tip one, and uh, now on to tip two. So, tip two is radio hogging, okay? Nothing is more annoying, at least, um, at least as far as I have heard, nothing is really too much more annoying than radio hogging to real officers, okay, so, radio hogging is when you are talking over the 
police radio. And, you know, okay, so basically how a police radio works is when one person is talking, no one else can talk. It, if you try talking while someone else is talking, it'll make weird beeping noises at you, and, uh, and yeah, it's not, it's not good, so... It doesn't allow you to talk whenever other people are talking over the radio, okay? And I'll put a clip of that here. Uh, dispatch 17, uh, I'm, I'm northbound on the freeway, uh, south of, uh, the river road, and I, I got a visual of, uh, what looks like a, a traffic hazard over on the southbound side, uh, look, it looks like it might possibly be a, a small, a small cat or it doesn't look like it's moving, but it appears that it's affecting traffic. I'm gonna get into uh, into traffic here. Uh, get on. I'm gonna go ahead and run a traffic break dispatch. Uh, he calls about slowing traffic. Dispatch uh, 21. It's just dispatch me. 21. Break. Okay, so yeah, that was a clip of that was like a little cartoon of basically someone hogging the radio and not letting an actual emergency really um, get transmitted over the radio, okay? So you want to keep your radio traffic, assuming that you do this in roleplay, and not all people do, um, and I understand that. Some people may not understand how to call things out, so. Okay, so, an example of this would be, um, so let's say this guy has a, he has expired tags, okay? Okay, so. So I'd pull up in front, since if you pull up behind, he's gonna take off from you. And I, in this situation, would say, 242, show me out on a gray BJ, Four door, going to be Route 68, Grand Sonora Desert, westbound. And see, so I don't have, I don't have any visual on his tags, so. I gotta move on. He doesn't have any front-facing tags, anyways. So then I would uh, make contact with him and um, get his information and everything. And yeah, so basically, you want to keep radio traffic as short and as minimal as possible, okay? So, uh, yeah, nothing much, nothing much more really, just, uh, okay, so tip three is lights are for visibility sake. Now, this is the Los Santos River, okay? So no, there's no traffic down in the Los Santos River. You don't really have anyone, you don't really have any need for people to see that you're there, really, if you know what I mean. If you don't have a need for people to see that you're there, then you don't need to have your lights on, okay? So, it would be pointless. It would just be pointless to have your lights on in a place where barely anyone hangs out and no one's really even... It's just gonna be kinda wasting, you know... It's just gonna, gonna be wasting the energy of your lights, you know? So, there's no... If no one's down here to see it, if no one is around to see your lights, then you don't need to have your lights on. So, I've seen people roll up into the LS River or whatever, and they always turn their lights on. There's no reason for that. You're not. There's no traffic down here to stop. There's no. There's no people down here to let. You know. There's no people down here to notify that you're here lights are to show that you're there, okay? Lights, police lights specifically are to show that you're there. Okay. 
So, yeah. Now on to tip four. So now on to tip four. So clearing intersections properly. Now this is this is all for realistic roleplay, okay? If you don't like realism, uh, and I'll do more of these if people like them, because there's a lot of mistakes that can be made, and it's all due to people not knowing, basically. So, this is for clearing intersections properly. When, let's say you're responding to something, uh, and it was a bad decision of me to do this right as he was walking by, but... You know, to use a priority siren and make sure traffic is completely stopped in the intersection, okay? So again, use a priority siren. That's either the Yelp or the priority other one. And uh, make sure no one is in the intersection that you could crash into. I mean... There can be people in the intersection, just make sure they're stopped, like that red dominator there. So again, this is a really good example. Just wait for traffic to kind of... Wait for traffic to stop, and then you go. Okay? Now, that is tip four, okay? So that would be clearing a intersection. Now, on to tip five. This is also when responding to something. Okay, so tip five is try to always pass on the left. Now, this may seem odd, but it makes sense if you think about it. I learned this from fear, uh, I learned this from free field training, okay? So, always try to pass on the left, because the sirens and the lights are telling people to pull over to the right, if that makes sense. So, if you're going through an intersection, and then you pull up over to here, see how this guy pulled over to the right? Now, it's okay to pass on the right sometimes if they are if they did pull over on the left. Or if something is blocking the left lane, that's fine to pull over there. But mainly, you want to try to stay on the left, because the sirens and the lights are telling people to pull over to the right, if that makes sense. See? So this is a good example. I mean, even though he didn't pull over very well. That, uh, that yellow buffalo didn't pull over very well, but, uh, still. You know, so. So this guy is hogging the left lane. That's perfectly fine for me to then pass in the middle or pass on the right. See, so there are some exceptions, but when you can, then always try to pass on the left. See, and it's, it's fine to pass on the right there. Again. But try to pass on the left. Okay, and uh, we've got a drunk driver over here. Okay, I'll handle that, but uh, yeah, it's been Mavzel. These are the five tips for better roleplay. I'll do another part if you guys really want it. And uh, peace.